Oh, hello. What's going on, you guys? Geek Carnes here. And in this episode of What I Hate About, this is episode two. Now, one, uh, we're going to be discussing what I hate about Call of Duty. Um, yes, last night I did, um, well, it's midnight now, so I guess technically two nights ago what I did yesterday morning. I'm sorry, I'm hurting myself. Because <laughs> I'm trying to, to say this. In the last episode, which I uploaded yesterday, um, I talked about what I hated in Battlefield 3, and I told everybody in that video, if you saw it, you would know that I was going to be doing a Call of Duty one today, so this is it. Um, there's nothing I hate about Call of Duty. It's perfect. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, assuming you didn't click off immediately after that bad joke. Um, let's get down to it, but what I want to say, in all seriousness, is, um, this series here is going to be uploaded at random, whenever I feel like doing a what I hate about video, um, it's going to be random, so, just letting you know there's no specific date for this, I just decided to do this as a side series, it's not a serious series like the other ones are, so, it'll just be uploaded when I have something to talk about, you know what I mean? Okay, so... So let's get to it. Um, Call of Duty is a very long-running um, game series. I mean, they've been making games, I think, the debut year was 2003. And um, they've had some really great additions and some really bad. Now, the main thing I hate about Call of Duty, I'm just going to get right into it here, is, of course, the camping. Now, of course, people will say, well, that's not Call of Duty, that's the people. And to a certain point you're right but the point I'm making is what I hate about it is I hate the fact that Call of Duty game uh, creators you know Infinity Ward and even Treyarch is guilty about this they go to the point of giving them the tools to camp I mean that is honestly what they're doing and when you're giving somebody the tools to camp you really can't be surprised when they actually camp. And I'm not making excuses for the campers. Campers are dirt bags, okay? They're douchebags. And, uh, but at the same time, it's in the game, so they're going to use it. And what the tools are, in case you're not aware, is, of course, a motion sensor is one of the worst things they have ever put into a Call of Duty game. There is no reason for anybody to use one. People that use them are using them to camp. It is as simple as that. And if you're one of the very rare ones uh, that don't, and you actually use it to, like, throw it down before you go around the corner, hey, props to you for using it as a ta a the way it should be used. But people are using this in an abusive manner. They're sitting in a corner, they're throwing down their uh, motion sensor, and they're just sitting there. And it was introduced, I believe, in Black Ops, and it was even worse in Modern Warfare 3. Um, another thing I hate about Call of Duty is Juggernaut, even though they took it out, Juggernaut, and, but Flat Jacket. I hate Flat Jacket as well, and I know it's coming back in Blops 2. They had it in Blops 1. I believe they had it in, in uh, did they have? They may have had some kind of, uh, version of it in MW3. I can't remember because I didn't play that game that mu as much. I, I prestige a few times, but you, know, you get my point. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here. But I hate flat jacket because if I throw a grenade at a guy and it hits him, it should fucking kill him. A grenade kill is hard to get, period. You know, when you're running around the map like I do and you throw a grenade and you finally hit somebody and it's only a hit marker, it's very, very annoying and frustrating when it's not a kill. You know, you, you rarely ever get hit markers and then when you see that it was a flat jacket guy, it really, it really sucks, you know, and that's really what I hated about it too was whenever I would earn an RC car in a care package or I was running an RC car because I wanted to use it for a while. I'd go up to the flat jacket people and be here. I just don't think it's something that should be in the game because it's extremely unrealistic. You're not going to survive a grenade blast or an RCXD for that matter. I mean, you're talking about an RC car with C4 in place. I mean, come on. They're, you're not surviving it. it. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, you know, another thing I'm not really a big fan of is, is the Blackbird. Um, a lot of people love this. A lot of the big YouTubers like using it, and I can't blame them. I mean, I, I've 
used the Blackbird, of, you know, an exceptional amount in um, in uh, Black Ops. And then they came out with something called the Advanced UAV, which was the equivalent to Blackbird in Modern Warfare 3. And now the Blackbird is coming back in Black Ops 2, but it's being called something else. I think it's a terrible idea because it lights up everybody on the radar on the enemy team and it shows everybody and hey it's great to counter camping but you're punishing everybody on that team and that includes people like me who are running around and not camping so then when you're on the radar like that you might as well just leave because you're going to keep getting slaughtered especially by really good players I just don't think it's something they needed and I'm, I'm a bit disappointed it's coming back um, I'm trying to think Okay, another thing I hate in uh, the Call of Duty games is, is shotguns. Um, I don't mind if the shotguns are in it, but they're balanced. For example, uh, Black Ops had it perfect. They were balanced. People never really used them because they weren't any good because they were balanced. And it was nice. And, but then, you know, every other Call of Duty, the shotguns have been a nightmare. People use them, spam them. Um, you know, fully automatic shotguns are a terrible and horrible, just absolutely atrocious idea to have a fully automatic shotgun and it looks like they have one in Black Ops 2 which is very disappointing um, but hopefully it won't be as bad as it sounds um, what else oh yeah okay the spy camera in Black Ops that was horrible I mean really talk about talk about big time camper tool the motion sensor is worse but I mean a spy camera all they gotta do is put that in the doorway where they're camping and watch it I mean come on that is horrible um, and the way they implemented Ghost. Um, Ghost in Black Ops 1 was horrible because it was such a good camper's tool. Um, I'm glad the way they implemented it in Black Ops 2, even though I would have rather them just removed it completely, but at least they seem to have, uh, to have, uh, nerfed it an uh, exceptional amount, but who knows, we won't know until we play. Um, I guess that's about it. Oh. Sounds like a cop car. Hmm. Just let this pass. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to talk and have it, you know, uh, block out my voice. But yeah, I guess that's about it. So uh, thank you for viewing this episode of What I Hate About. This is episode two. If you have any suggestions on what I should talk about, um, any video games or anything, I'll let you know if I've played them and I'll let you know what I didn't like about them. That's all this series is about. It could be anything. It could be video games. It could be movies. It could be, uh, it could be, it could be anything. I was looking for something for example. It could be anything. I don't give a shit. So just lay it on me. If you got a suggestion, don't be shy. And, uh, that'll do it for this video. This is the Keith Carnes. I'll see you guys in the next.